Welcome to Zen in a Moment, Episode 7. This is Zen Cryer to Brooke, and today I want to do a little bit more on trust because I think it's actually really important at this time to be able to know what you can trust, how you can trust someone, and what is the criteria. Now, interestingly enough, one of the things I found out in using my internal guidance system is that very often we have it backwards. When we feel an uncomfortable, tight feeling in our center of our body, at chest, but when we're thinking about like the chest or the solar plex area, when we're thinking about another person or a situation or a path that we want to take, we believe that that tightness is coming from the world outside of us, meaning the, str- the strategy, the path, the person. Like, I have a bad feeling about them or I have a bad feeling about this deal, or I have a bad feeling about this teacher, this friend, this other parent. I have a bad feeling, and that bad feeling has always been associated with an uncomfortable feeling in the center of the body. But it's the opposite that's true. If you have an uncomfortable feeling in the center of your body, it's based on what you're thinking. And it's only about what you're thinking. So if you're thinking this person is a not a good person, you need to stop check your closing, say I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. The reason why this is important is because we have programming between the ages of zero and seven and we overlay the way people look, the expression on their face, what they do for a living, where they live. We overlay all this programming on top of new people that we meet. If there is someone that you cannot trust, it will open you. It doesn't feel like anxiety or fear or concern. It actually feels like a centered discernment, a wisdom, a knowing that the thing, the person, the strategy is not right. There's something off and it opens you. And that has you feel very confident to be able to say, no, this isn't for me or no, thank you. My child can't stay at your house or I'm not interested in this business opportunity or this product or having you over for dinner, you know, whatever it is, I don't want to go on a date with you, but it will open you. And it's incredibly important to learn this because otherwise you could be passing up beautiful opportunities in your life. You could be passing up things where your mind is trying to keep you safe, but what it's doing is it's actually not recording and not evaluating the situations around you accurately because it doesn't really work in present time moment. And I want you to have the most powerful opportunities in your life and not pass them by. And I've done this. I had a really incredible opportunity in the early 2000s and I mistook my closings for being that I couldn't do something, that I wasn't big enough, strong enough. I didn't have enough support and money and I backed out. And to this day, it's one of the things that I'm like, "Mm, I regret that. So I love you dearly. I hope you have an amazing day. Remember, remember when you go to judge someone as being worthy and trustworthy, if you're closed, it means what you're thinking about them is not true. So name it. I am closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. Feel the slight opening because it will happen, which confirms that the way you're thinking about it is not true. And then go ahead and wait and see how it unfolds with flow. All right, always operate into your openings. Have a blessed day. I'm sending you love and blessings.